What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I have an awesome video today showing you how to refresh all of your Power BI data sets across all of your workspaces using a single button click. This is going to run a Python script in the background in order to refresh all these data sets. So for example, I have this workspace with a data set named Refresh All Data Sets Python Script. If I click the Refresh Now button, you'll see after a few seconds, once it kind of kicks in, it's going to refresh the other three data sets in my view here. So now we see they're starting to refresh and they're successfully refreshed at 8.32 a.m. But the even cooler idea here is I can go to all my other workspaces, like another workspace, and check out my data sets. And you can see these data sets were refreshed as well. So this is gonna refresh all of your data sets across all of the workspaces that you have access to. So this is an amazing trick and I'm gonna show you how you can do it in just a few steps. So uh, the first thing you need to understand about this trick is it's running a Python script. Here is that Python script. If you want to be able to just copy and paste this into your own editor, uh, you can go ahead and navigate over to the blog post accompanying this video and copy it directly from there. Um, so we'll get into this code a little bit later, uh, but basically what it's doing is it's connecting to the Power BI REST API. Uh, once it authenticates, it gets all of the workspaces that you are a part of, and then all of the data, uh, the data sets of all of those workspaces and kicks off a refresh for each one of those data sets. But we'll get into that a little bit later. So the first step in order to be able to run this Python script is firstly installing Python on your machine. Uh, I have another video showing you how to install and run Python scripts in Power BI. So make sure you check out the video. I'll link it down in the description as well. Um, so the first step that we need to accomplish here in this video is we need to uh, go to the Power BI API registration tool. So you can find it at this link, dev.powerbi.com slash apps. And basically it's a two-step process. The first step is simply signing into Power BI. I've already done that. And the second step is registering your application. Um, so you firstly need to name your application. I named mine Refresh All Data Sets. And then this is very important. Make sure you select the native application type. Instead of server-side web application, you need to select native. And once you do so, you just need to provide a couple of API accesses. Uh, we only need the read all workspaces and read and write all data set uh, API accesses. And once you do that, click register and it's going to create uh, basically an application or client ID. So when that happens, make sure you save that. I'm not actually gonna do that, I've already done that, but save that application ID uh, because you're gonna need to copy and paste it into your code. The next thing you need to do is navigate over to your Azure portal where you can uh, grant your permissions for the API. So uh, just starting from the home page, if you search for app registrations, so navigate there and select your application that we just set up. So refresh all data sets. And on the left side, there's an API permissions and click this grant admin consent uh, button. And it's gonna grant admin consent to be used by your Python script. Do that and your Python script will run flawlessly. So now open up a code editor, take this code that I've already written. So again, go over to the blog, copy this code and you're going to need, need to change just a couple of lines. So you're going to insert your client ID, the one you just got from that registration tool. You're gonna to insert your Power BI email in, and you're gonna insert in your Power BI password. These are necessary in order to authenticate with that Power BI API. So once you authenticate, it's going to grant you an access token. And I do want to say uh, real quick, I didn't write all of this code for the authentication. I found this on a uh, on a post on the Power BI community. So props to the person that wrote this code to authenticate. I think I've seen this around a couple of times, but it's very useful. Uh, so once you get that access token, you then need to make a series of requests to the Power BI API. So the first request is going to get all of your groups or workspaces. Uh, so basically using this Power BI endpoint to get your groups, you're gonna send that groups request. It's gonna come back in a kind of wonky format but I'm using some logic to turn it into the proper formatting in order to get the information that we need. I'm not gonna walk through all of these lines or all this logic, but if you need some more help uh, kind of crunching through this Python, make sure you uh, send me a message over at bielite.com slash contact, and I can, uh, you can send me a message there and I'll, I'll reach back out to you. Um, 
So once we have all of our workspaces, we're gonna iterate through those workspaces and send another request to the Power BI API um, in order to retrieve all the data sets that are, um, that basically make up that workspace. And once we have all of our data sets, we're gonna iterate through each of those data sets and hit the Power BI API one more time to send a refresh for that specific data set. So as you can see, just in this refresh URL, uh, URL line here, we are sending a post request to this specific endpoint. And you see that we're throwing in group and the data set ID that we had received previously from those previous two calls. So doing that, we're able to kick off a refresh for each data set for each workspace that I'm a member of. And finally, um, I should note that the last line here is basically saying final equals pandas dot data frame. This is only necessary because Power BI, uh, running a Power BI, uh, Python script within Power BI requires that a pandas data frame is present at least once in the script. Uh, Power BI needs a data frame to be returned in order to basically say this query returns some sort of data. So this is just returning an empty data frame with no data, but it satisfies Power BI's need for some data in that Python script. Um, one more thing to note, I'm importing four libraries here up top. Um, ADAL, request, JSON, and pandas. The first three are built into Python by default, whereas pandas needs to be installed on your machine uh, before this will work. Again, that is covered over in my running Python scripts and Power BI video. You basically need to install both pandas and matplotlib in order to run Python scripts at all in Power BI. So once you have this, once you fill out these three lines up here, client ID, username, and password, go ahead and copy that into uh, Power BI. So let's go ahead and navigate over to Power BI. And I have opened up the back end of Power BI, the query editor, and I have created a new source with a Python script and simply pasted it in. So here is my script. And you see I still have those kind of dummy lines in, so this won't work for me. So I'm actually going to cancel out since I actually have my real credential stored in there. So cancel out, or I'm going to cancel out. You click OK, let it run. Once, you, uh, once it runs, select your final, which is that empty pandas data frame that came through. And then finally, it's gonna return an empty table, but just go close and apply. And once we're back at our Power BI report, once it's applied those changes and run through that Python script, it actually will have refreshed all of your data sets already since it's kicked off that script. Um, but in order to kind of see this in its final working version, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Once you save it, just publish it up to your Power BI service portal. You can publish this anywhere. I've actually already published it to a workspace called Refresh Example. So now at Refresh Example, I'm gonna navigate there, Refresh Example. So I have my Refresh Example. Now we're kind of back to the beginning. Um, once I click this Refresh Now button, as you know, it's gonna refresh all of my data sets. Uh, one thing you also need to know is that you do need a Power BI gateway in personal mode installed on your computer. As of right now, there is no other way to run Python on Power BI service unless it's through a personal gateway. So just to show you, I have my personal gateway, on-premises data gateway, personal mode already set up on my computer. Um, this is extremely necessary, not very hard to do. Um, just go simply, just Google for Power BI personal mode gateway. There's some documentation showing you how to set that up. Um, once you set that up, it should run well. You'll click this refresh now button and you'll probably get one error. It's a one-time error saying uh, you need to provide credentials for this Python script data source. Simply click sign in and it'll just go away and you'll be able to refresh as many times as you want. So just as an, one more example, I'll click this refresh now button give it a little bit of time and it's gonna kick off a refresh for every single other data set in all of my workspaces on my Power BI portal. So these are starting to kick off and finish. You see this time has changed now as we've gone through this video and going back to our other workspace, we see these are now updated as well. So I really hope you like this video. I'm gonna use this trick all the time in case I need to refresh all my data sets at once, instead of going through each individual data set and clicking the refresh now button. Um, this can be used in conjunction with the scheduled refresh as well. Just keep in mind that you only have 
eight refreshes per day. So each one of these refreshes that we're kicking off via the Power BI API is using one of your scheduled refreshes. So in reality, for my data sets, if I need to keep them really up to date, I'll probably do something like uh, setting up six scheduled refreshes per day and still allowing myself to click that button at least twice a day in order to refresh all my data sets. So I really hope you like this trick. Make sure you check out the blog over at the BI Elite blog. I have some really good stuff over there and a little bit more information on this trick. So in case you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the blog, and I will see you in the next trick.